I mean, you've been up there for years. What what's this storm like? Where's it rank? You know what? It's it's actually you know it ranks up there in one of those top storms, probably in that top twenty. But here's the cool part: is that we had blizzard warnings and high wind warnings going into this. As you can see behind me, it's been snowing constantly like this for the last 24 to 48 hours. I was just looking at snow totals across the region, and it's anywhere between 56 and 72 inches. The larger amount snow mounts are down towards Mammoth, but down here on the south shore, right here at lake level, we've got a good three feet. So it did deliver the snow quantity the quality of snow has been starting to change on and off throughout this storm i was just talking to uh jim here at the weather channel and what's going on is it was light and dry just 24 hours ago we're talking about like true cold smoke pow but now the water quality in the snow is starting to grow avalanche danger absolutely extreme right now the sierra avalanche center just reported at 7 a.m that they have put an extreme warning out and that goes through friday so a lot of really good snow it's great for the water tables here and around the region uh and it's going to be great for skiing and riding once this next storm passes we're going to be game on dude we got monday and tuesday don't forget until jim can't worry frank malico by the way <laughs> i know it uh, he uh, was a college roommate and one of my best friends in Vermont. So at any rate, hey, I've skied with him at, uh, in Colorado. Um, what about the resorts? Uh, they're packed and uh, all the reservations taken at uh, Kirkwood and North Star, uh, Squaw. Yeah, definitely what's happening right now. So the only group that does reservations is, the, is their bail resort. So that's Heavenly, Kirkwood, and North Star. And yeah, I was looking at that earlier this morning, and they are packed. I will tell you right now, though, here's kind of the deal. Mountain operations teams are going to have to be doing a lot of digging out. So it's going to be a little bit of time. I look at it, the Twitter feed, and Heavenly this morning was putting out across their Twitter feed, do not come up to the mountain for an early morning opening. Highway 88, State Route 88, over the Carson Pass and over the Carson and Spur is closed. So Kirkwood Mountain Resort is not going to be a go-to place probably till after Friday. And then there's a next storm that's coming in. North Star is probably your safest bet right now. But any resort, it's going to take a lot of work for those mountain operations teams to get outside and start digging out. Again, this is a perfect setup for the month of February. These are our two big snow months. You know that, Frank. We're going to probably see a normal winter after all this goes away. And how about road conditions just getting around the lake and uh, from resort to resort? So right now I'm here at Highway 50. This is State Route, you know, 89 just down the way right here at Highway 50. We have chain controls right here. They did shut 80 down earlier this morning for avalanche uh, mitigation. It is open right now, but it is slow driving up here. If you're not prepared and you don't have a four-wheel drive car, you don't have chains, you need to stay at home right now until after this storm passes and then come up. One thing is Caltrans has a lot of work to do on the roadways to open up the roadways, one, to keep them maintained. Those are the main arteries, I-80, Highway 50, State Route 88, State Route 267, and State Route 207. The other one is all the neighborhoods, like just coming down here to Highway 50 this morning, it took me four hours to dig out of my house. And I have not seen a plow on the county roads in two days. So it's going to be a lot of digging over the next couple of days here to get us out and open. And you're loving it, right? Well, absolutely. The stoke level is just pinned right now. It's good to go. And you know what? Like I'm saying, like the avalanche, you know, once the avalanche danger drops down, the backcountry, cross-country skiing, alpine skiing, Tahoe's going to be gaining all. And you know, the good thing is, Frank, is that it's lake level snow. So if you're just a snow enthusiast and you want to cross country across the lake or down by the lake or snowshoe, it's we have everything open again. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good at least 60 days just with this storm. That's not even counting the next storm. Right on, Coop. You're the man. Have fun. Stay safe, my friend. Okay, you take care, Frank. See you guys. Bill Cantori, I said hi. I will. Bye-bye.